what the Hello Cupcake gets me. Today is February 15th, 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, and then head on over to the blog, hellocupcakegetsme.com, and go give the podcast some love over at anchor.fm slash hellocupcakeitsme. So, oh man, for it only being Wednesday, um... I feel like it's a continuation of Friday and has just been one kick to the balls after the next and I'm kind of done already with this week. Um, So last night at Trivia, the uh, Trivia scoring system was all fucked up. So like if we answered correctly, we got a zero. And it would give us zeros for, like, two or three questions, and then we would answer correctly, and then it would finally give us the points. And on the times that it was giving us zeros, the people who were answering incorrectly got a thousand points. So, um, I got on their Facebook page, and they are like, oh yeah, you know, several other locations had all confirmed that that was happening. I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm not going to stay... Like, this is just going to piss me off knowing that I'm getting these right answers wrong. So, um, that kind of sucked. But, oh well, what do you do, right? Um, so I left the bar early last night and I went and I stood out by the water. And it's been a while since I just got out in nature and stood there. And I probably stood out there for a good 10-15 minutes just kind of taking in the cold night air and it was beautiful and just clear and you could see like Orion's belt and the Big Dipper and Little Dipper and I'm sure all the other constellations I only know those three because I'm a basic bitch like that but oh well um (laughs) I knew them all when I was in Boy Scouts but well I haven't been in Boy Scouts in (sighs) almost 30 years (laughs) Give or take. So, yeah. I was like 12 when I was in Boy Scouts. 11 or 12. So, going to be 42. It's been a few minutes. Um, and I also used to remember all the names, or all the, like, parts of an axe, and how to properly identify all the parts of the blade, or a blade, and all that other stuff, and had merit badges for all the things, because I was a geeky little kid. But, oh well. Um, so yeah. Really didn't do anything this weekend. Um, I wanted to, like, hang out with my sister and had even told her, you know, um, that I wanted to go with her, uh, into the city or whatever. And, uh, that didn't happen. Her and her boyfriend left a little sooner than what I woke up for. So, um, that kind of put a whole damper on my weekend because... I, they did, they did everything that we would normally do on, like, one of the days that I would go over to her house, and so I was just like, fine, I'll just stay home, and that's all I really did, is I just stayed home, played on my Nintendo, and, um, just kind of hung out, and I was having some serious agoraphobia this weekend, too, like, uh, at one point I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna go by myself, I'll go to Walmart, and I'll go to the Dollar Tree, and I'll go do all the things that I need to do, and I need to go get cat litter, and I need to do this, that, and the other thing. And I was having such a visceral reaction to having to get up, get in my car, and actually go into the city by myself. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, at one point, I went to get up and leave, and I started getting physically sick. To the point where I thought I was going to throw up, so I went and I laid back down. And then I got, I got up like 45 minutes later, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go do this. And I went to go put my uh, clothes on, and I felt like I was going to faint. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then I look at my heart rate monitor, and or on my Fitbit or whatever, and it's like tapped all the way out. And I was having like a panic attack or whatever, and... I didn't want to take a Xanax or anything because it was like, if I do that, I definitely am not going to be able to go anywhere because one, that's going to knock me on my ass. And two, I don't, 
I don't take any kind of like mind altering substances and then get behind the wheel. Like that's not me. Um, even when I drink or whatever, if I have a drink, I'll have like one or two drinks and then I won't go anywhere. Like I won't get in that car for at least three or four hours. And then once I do get in the car, it's literally a beeline from wherever I'm at drinking to the next place. And, um, or to my house from point A to point B. And back in the day when I used to, um, when my friends were still partying, they live like maybe a block or two up the road from me. So a lot of times I would just park or leave my car at home and walk down there, drink and do whatever, and then come home. And I would just walk. Or if I drove there, I would leave my car and walk home and then go pick it up in the morning or whatever. Like, I used to drink and drive and all that other shit, like, when I was younger. And, um... Yeah, I, I don't want to do that anymore. Like... And plus, I was also in a 1985 Cougar Mercury that was all American steel, and I could run into the side of Mount Rushmore, and the mountain would crumble before that car fucked up. And, you know, back when I was younger, too, I never drove on any of the main streets when I was intoxicated. And I wouldn't be out on the street until, like, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And I would make sure that I took the back roads and, like, went out of my way to stay out of neighborhood residential areas. Um, not that it's justifiable in any sense of the... Me, like any sense it's not justifiable but you know i would that's just what i would do and then i'd get off work at night or i'd get off work and then i'd go and party at the bar until like 1 30 like about one when they close 12 31 o'clock and then i'd get in the home or i'd get in the car and i would drive home and at the time i lived about 45 miles from my house and I had to drive like through a vast majority of desert and then drive up a mountain pass and drive up this like this road was literally like that steep and um I had to go up two of those roads and so there were nights where I leapfrogged it the whole way home. I would drive for five or six miles and I'd pull over to the side of the road, sleep for a few minutes, wake up, drive for five or six miles, sleep for a few minutes, and then I'd get to the canyon and I would drive the canyon as as quickly and as safely as I could and I'd get to the other side of the canyon, pull off, sleep for a few minutes, get back on the road and then drive the rest of the way home as far as I could. And I know that in itself was a bad thing to do. And like, you know, I was a young 20 something year old kid before all my health problems and shit happened. I, there's no way in hell I could have done that now. There's no way in hell I could do that now. Like, um, but yeah, so Moral of the story is, I don't like to drive behind the wheel if I'm intoxicated or have anything like that going on with me. So, I didn't take the Xanax or whatever, and I just kind of powered through it. Um, I had a few extra dollars, and so I made myself the promise that if I got up out of bed, that I was going to go grab some Starbucks. Like, that's how I had to justify it in my head. Like, go to the store, get yourself some Starbucks... And grab something for dinner. And so that's what I did. I ended up going to the Kroger down the street from my house. And um, grabbed some Starbucks. And I ended up spending like... Fuck. Almost an hour there. Without even realizing. Just kind of walking around. And I was in a funk walking through there too. Like I went down the cereal aisle probably six times. Because I'd go down the aisle. And I'd forget something... And then I'd have to go back down the aisle, and then I would, like, oh yeah, I want this. And I'd have to go back down the aisle, and so... 
I'm, I'm sure I look like a crackhead on camera or whatever. But, um, Monday was a really good day out, um, doing my swimming and everything. It was just kind of nice to get in the water, and it was so warm. Oh my god, the water was so warm. Like, lately the water hasn't been warm, and it's been cold outside, so you go from cold outside to cold in the water, and it's just like, no. But, uh, Monday night, or Monday morning, like... 3 34 o'clock in the morning we had massive hail and like really bad wind storms and stuff and then uh tuesday uh i woke up to snow <laughs> i was like son of a bitch are you kidding me but uh it was clear all day yesterday and so the snow uh melted off really quickly which i was thankful for because we all know how much i love snow and we're still supposed to get like another day or two of snow and um over in the seattle area it dumped snow in the mountains to the point where they had to close one of the major passes to get to eastern washington and it was just like huh okay <laughs> like you could keep all that crap uh, a lot of weird stuff going on and like all the damn ufos are the ultra what are they calling them ultra high objects are um high or ultra altitude objects or something they're not fully coming out and saying that they're freaking ufos but come on people not saying aliens but aliens <laughs> um but i think uh i saw something on this uh youtube channel called redacted uh, it used to be Morning Invest with Clayton Morrison, and then it turned into something else, and now it's called Redacted. And um, he's kind of a... He kind of leans toward Republican without being Republican. He says he's independent, but uh, some of his stuff is very Republican-heavy, where other parts of it is Democrat-heavy, and then other parts is truly independent, so... Who the hell knows, but I think that he reported that the CIA or someone came out and said that it was actually a UFO that they shot at. Um, one of the four or five objects that have just recently like shown up on our radar. And I'm like, yeah, the whole weather balloon thing, woo, you know. Um, why, if it is actually a weather balloon, why hasn't China yelled and screamed about us shooting down more than one of their balloons? But whatever. My whole thing about it is, if it is UFOs, we should probably stop shooting them down and see what the hell they want before we end up with, like, a fucking Independence Day type thing because July is right around the corner and Will Smith is too busy out here slapping the taste out of people's mouths to, like, fly up into space and take care of some shit. And Jeff Goldblum is a little... <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, I don't really want a war war of the worlds type situation happening but yeah and there's all kinds of conspiracy theories going al along with that or whatever else and you know is it true who knows it's hubris at best to think that we're alone in the universe but you know whatever and, you know, the CIA did declassify a bunch of documents stating that we do have extraterrestrial vehicles and this, that, and the other thing. And um, not 100% like everything that they were supposed to release, but a good majority and just like kind of confirming what we've all known since Roswell. And um, I'm a little bit of a UFO nerd. I love the idea of ancient astronauts and, like, UFO theory and all that other stuff. I find it extremely fascinating. I love watching UFO documentaries. I love watching stuff on, uh, what is it, MUFU or whatever and just, like, all that, all that stuff. Now, there's some things like Lemurians and, uh, like, whatever that I don't subscribe to. Um, I do think that the center of the Earth may be hollow, or that there's parts of the Earth that are hollow, because 
the Earth is a giant rock, and we know geodes exist, so it would be kind of stupid of us to think that the Earth was solid and didn't have chasms and caverns and things like that. Does it support life? Is there, like, a energy source down there, kind of like the sun? Is I don't think all that happens. Like, is it, like... Brendan Fraser and that whole journey to the center of the earth, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of cultures that believe that there are gateways to the center of the earth. I mean, in Greek mythology, they used to go to hell or to, you know, the, the underworld all the damn time. Like... Oh, it's a Tuesday, I flicked an eyelash, we're on our way to the Underworld, here we go. And they would go and come back, and... So, um... In all mythology, all legends, all folktale, and stuff like that, there lies grains of truth. And... You know, I have my own theories and skepticisms and, like, whatever about whatever, but... That's neither here nor there, and that's a tangent for a whole nother video. And the mister is coming to say hello, so... Yeah, I he is being extra needy this morning. But, oh well. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna get going because I have to go and get my swim on here in a few minutes. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. Uh, make sure you go check out the blog, hellocupcakeitsme.com, and the podcast, anchor.fm slash hellocupcakeitsme, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Give me the mouse. <laughs>